I'm Short Chef, and I'm here as part of Fairchild Challenge Green Cuisine 2013-2014. Today, I'll be talking about food and kitchen sanitation, and I hope it helps you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Short Chef. Happy birthday to me. You may be wondering why I'm singing Happy Birthday. The song Happy Birthday takes approximately 20 seconds. That's how long you need to soap up your hands and wash your hands. And I can tell you this, less than 1% of all the people on the planet Earth wash their hands correctly. So today I can tell you one of the most important things about health sanitation in the kitchen is washing your hands. Cleaning the kitchen is part of cooking. Not only is it easier to cook in a clean kitchen, but keeping the kitchen clean will keep your family healthier and safer. Before we start with foods, first I want to be sure that the kitchen is clean. Please know, proper sanitation will reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses, pests, and very importantly, kitchen accidents. Right now I'm sanitizing what I've cleaned and what I've rinsed. I use a tiny bit of bleach with some fresh water and I sanitize everything in my workspace my counters, my tools, everything I use is important to sanitize it as your final step in keeping your kitchen clean. As part of clean cooking, the main rule is to be comfortable. A hat, a hairnet makes sense as hair in the food is not so good. Always wear an apron, an apron is best. You don't want to ruin your clothes while cooking, so wear an apron. Long sleeves make sense to cover your arms from any heat, anything hot. Light clothes make sense that is often hot in the kitchen, which is why short chef wears shorts. Closed toe shoes is a good idea in case you drop foods. A uniform is not required in the kitchen, but let me give you a hint. If you're on a cooking team, it's a good idea. I want to talk a little bit about cross-contamination. Cross contamination happens when we use maybe one tool on another food and another food and another food. For instance, eating a piece of chicken, slimy, nasty chicken, and then even with my gloves, I'm touching some beef. That's cross contamination. If I take a knife and I cut a vegetable, and then I use that same knife and cut a piece of chicken, that's cross contamination. If my hands are dirty and not clean enough, and then I touch a pineapple, and then I touch the beef, cross-contamination. Germs going from my hands to a food to a vegetable. Food poisoning is the most dangerous, dangerous item in the kitchen. Please pay attention to cross-contamination. Also to prevent cross-contamination, you'll notice I have different cutting boards. My meats are on a red one. You can use any color you like, vegetables differently. Every food that you use in your touch, use a different cutting board. One of the things I do as a chef is I clean everything I cook with, whether it's meats, and here we have a chicken breast, whether it's some beef, again, I rinse it off. And I'll move that over here. I don't want my chicken juice and the beef juice going together. Again, cross-contamination. When it comes to vegetables, all right, as simple as garbanzo beans, one of my favorite items to use in cooking a salad, even out of a can or fresh, I rinse my garbanzo beans, cleaning them very well and putting them far away from the rest of the food. Whether it's baby corns, strawberries, summer squash, I'm cleaning everything I touch. That's just me. No cross-contamination, that's what's called clean cooking. People often ask me about purchasing produce which is already pre-packaged and pre-washed. As a chef, I take no chances. I'll open it, I'll rinse it in my strainer, clean it with some fresh cold water, dry it out, and that's how I'll use that in salads or sauteing it. So again, clean everything you can. It's the best rule in the kitchen. I like cleaning vegetables a lot. I have a vegetable brush here, so I'm cleaning my peppers. So 
I'm just rinsing it off. I'm getting it as clean as I can. This may seem similar to you, but even my Brussels sprouts, I'll pull off any bad leaves that I'm not going to use, but I go back to cleaning my vegetables. Clean food is the only way to eat. Short Shed says, you can eat too much, you can talk too much, but you can't laugh too much, and you can't have too clean a kitchen. Healthy eating, healthy kitchens, good for you, good for everybody.